We're here to demand an immediate ceasefire, to demand an end to both U.S. and Canadian funding uh, and support of Israel's genocide, um, and also to call on Canadian people to join us, to take a stand, uh, to lift Israel's 17-year-long siege on Gaza, whereby Israel controls Gaza's air, land, and water. Just a few days ago, Canada abstained at a UN vote uh, in order to call, which was calling for a ceasefire, and we're hearing Justin Trudeau repeatedly um, refuse to call for a ceasefire and so we need the Canadian public who we know doesn't support the genocide we need the Canadian public to get out get organized and join us We're here as Jews to stand in solidarity with the Palestinian people, demanding an immediate ceasefire, demanding Israel let in humanitarian aid. They've only let in a shameful 80 trucks uh, and the genocide and the occupation um, and Canadian complicity in all this. Secondly, to speak to all my fellow Jews, we um, I think we are all, a lot of us are descendants of the Holocaust and we all need to look deep down inside because this is straight up genocide and it's being done in our names. The situation was already horrific, but with this, it's like I, I feel like it is PTSD that just never ends. Like there is no post to this. It's the sixth time. Um, in 2014, we lost seven members of our family uh, in just one go. So I know that there are members of my family who have, you know, been murdered. But the exact number, I can't tell you, and I don't think we will know until, you know, a lot of time has passed. As a Jew, 
I am absolutely heartbroken. It is devastating to see that this is being done in our name. It's never anti-Semitic to criticize Israel or to criticize war crimes. We need to stop this. We need our government to demand a ceasefire. We need the ceasefire now. We've already lost thousands and thousands of innocent civilians. And this is just, it's horrible collective punishment. <laughs> On the land, I'm not in the I'm on the So this is good, they care for something. Shoshan Horan, 65 years old. The Shoshan family, Tal, 38, Adi, 38. Haim Ferry, 79 years old. Adi Sidney, 75 years old. Tani Metzger, 78 years old. Yohan Metzger, 80 years old. Omer Nutra, 22 years old. Ella Elohim, 8 years old. Daphne Elliotin, 15 years old. Jimmy Gary Lennon for jail, 33 years old. Fran Hyman, 41 years old. Women and men, children and elderly people. 
his remedies and then his remedies. Please and kind of We are worried, but we know the ground offensive has to take place. We have to destroy. Hamas has to go in order for the Palestinians to have a decent life and for Israel to be able to live securely and without this ever happening again. Alexander Bansi, 75 years old. Eden Zachari, 28 years old. Eitan Avram Mo, 23 years old. Ruth Badaya Peres 17 years old. Karen Munda, 54 years old. Guy de Bordelal, 23 years old. Liat Benin Atsi, 49 years old. Uriel Baro, 35 years old. Mia Shen, 21 years old. Lauren Dachman of Bordel, 47 years old. They need to do everything that they can. Twist their, like Hamas's arm, to make sure that they do a little, something a little bit right fixing all the wrongs that they have done cut these Qataris by financing Hamas and bring our people home. This is why I'm here. Ben Benjamin Khan, 27 years old. Murat Khan, 19 years old, 2 years old. Sagir Fen Deke, 35 years old. Exacerbates the war crime of civilian abduction. <laughs>